A strange heading for sure, born out of a hobby topic of mine that I spend much time ruminating on, that of how society is influenced in the behavior department, and though not an expert by any means, I have read a few experts' opinions and observed at various stages of life this phenomenon. This is a bit disjointed, but hope it will make sense to some. I observe that some people will never listen or adjust their errant behavior, noting that they comply for a while, then revert to their status quo. Why? The quickest answer is entitlement and right, also some warped sense of right. Let's take an example close to the writer's heart. The conflict unresolved where two people or parties are at loggerheads over a matter that, looking slightly beneath the surface, seems to have developed from two different opinions. Look a bit deeper and you might find two different mindsets. And beneath that you find two different upbringings leading to this other favorite phrase of mine, charity begins at home. A famous politician in the UK was quoted to have said, we are a broken society. There are a few aspects I would like to touch on. Lack of respect for others' property, lack of knowledge regarding the impact of their actions, the forming and reforming nature of a well-managed home where resources are carefully acquired and distribution tensions are managed with wisdom. Bearing and caring for fellow beings are nurtured. The aspect of roles are clearly defined and hygiene is encouraged. Because where more than one is, a common standard of hygiene must exist so everyone therein can thrive. So where this is lacking or incomplete, studies show that those emanating from that scenario tend to be broken, whether in exerting their selfish desires over others or disregard for law, order and rule, including the common standard that needs to be in place necessary for all to coexist or some other form. And the amazing thing is that we are still here and the society has not imploded yet, though in kind of survival mode held by a thread, seeing some are sick because they are deprived, some are troubled and unhappy, other, some are displeased because they just can't seem to settle down. Their wants are like have open phylacteries, endlessly trying to satiate their never-ending longings. All this thought is from two incidents, one major and the other minor that I experienced lately. But this issue has been a full-time occupation of my mind amongst others, the theme of living happily with each other. Now this is a huge topic, as differences in the society are many and diverse, summarized under class, culture, beliefs, and egalitarianism. However, I would strongly contend that the majority of our problems in society today stem from the shaping we have, or lack thereof, during childhood. Whether in a home or not, and perhaps lacking some level of decency due to psychosis or some other ailment. The next topic of focus is reformation attempts by the leaders over centuries. Prison has always been foremost, with schools perhaps coming a close second, not in order of importance but preference and tendencies. I could analogize these to that of a prison diet and further thought that the idea of prison is no more different from boarding school or the home in its basics of shaping the mind through the things I mentioned earlier. To focus the mind on bounding rather than being loose and erratic, tame the shrew as it were, encouraging the view of a moderate approach to everything, teaching that patience is not only a virtue but the wheel on which society glides along. Imposing personal views in a public domain is at best disruptive. It can lead to chaos, fracas, unnecessary stress and further instability. The need for obedience of the laws promotes a level of peaceful coexistence. Having education about where one lives is paramount to a more complete experience of life. As the saying goes, when in Rome, behave like the Romans. Inculcating knowledge and experience at a tender and receptive age is so vital that any society worth its salt should have a common education for children. This ensures they can learn propriety and respect for the law, which has a chance of sustaining into their older years. A long discourse stemmed from two discording events in my current existence that I can see involves a lack of observance of respect for others' property and preference, imposing their ideas and sensibility over another's. 
for example, to every person is allotted a place of dwelling and by extension in these days this may come with a parking space. Now the worker, not owner or tenant, may have a parking space too, but buys a car that wouldn't fit that space and parks in the tenant's space without prior arrangement, taking liberties, imposing her grotesque mindset and stressing others. Now those who are of different mindset, brought up to respect others' things, have dignity and avoid theft will be outraged at this behavior, but those of the same mindset will say, what, that doesn't mean a thing. If but a small number of reformers exist in society and voice concerns, then the wider society tends to gain and evil repressed. It is the lack of speaking that allows the other side to gain, and boy do they gain, and quickly too, like wild bushfire spreads if the spark or amber or start of fire is unchecked. 